hello. <laughs> oh, Christ. Hello, everybody. Today, uh, I'm going to be playing... Well, I'm going to try again to play Dreaming Mary. Uh, the reason I'm doing it on this camera rather than my pretty one is because I tried to do it first time on my pretty camera, and then it didn't fucking work when I got scared the shit out of. So hopefully we can capture that with the mediocre camera. I mean... And, um, I, it scared the shit out of me, so for courage, I am wearing a owl onesie in the middle of May. So, if you see sweat dripping down my face, <laughs> that's disgusting, I don't sweat. No girls sweat. Um, yeah, just ignore that. I should state that this, uh, game, Dreaming Mary and a few others that I'll probably check out, was, uh, recommended by Dimension? I think that's how I say it, Dimension. Yeah, so thanks for recommending them. This one looks really cool. And I've played a little bit already, as I've already stated. So I guess I already know how to do half of it. So it could be half walkthrough, you know, it saves me figuring, like, you know, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm meant to do. If I already know. So. Right. I should have got some fucking alcohol so make it give me some Dutch courage. That's my word of the day, by the way. You're gonna hear my beautiful commentary as well. You're so lucky. remember you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your life for your dreams, you have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality and the entire world will be open up for you. But Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. Shit. I didn't listen to that last time, I just ignored it. Fuck. Seek firm, X cancel arrow keys, movement, S to save. Right. There is a vase with pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Take the flower. Yes, please. Got the white lily. And then we look beautiful up there. This game, alright, it's fucking gorgeous. I love it. This is a weird painting. There's a big fluffy bed, so sweet. Okay. What else? I want to know what the radio lady has to say. If you don't care, just skip now. Skip. Now that that's now. over with, let's take a short break. Next up on the music, Nightmarish by Harmonic Blend. Thank you for your beautiful 
Yume means dream. I don't understand the rest, but this is in Japanese. The next set of questions is from Sonway. The first one is, Mary in the dream has pink hair and a pink dress, but does she look like that in the waking world? That's an excellent question, Sonway. Mary in the real world is very different. In fact, her name isn't even Mary. In the real world, Maddie has brown hair and brown eyes, and she wears large sweaters and a long His next question is, how is Mary's life outside of dreaming? Does she have any likes besides dreaming? Alright, let me tell you more about her life. Maddie lives alone with her father in a big, isolated mansion. She has an uncle who visits and gives her books and things. She likes being read stories, and her mom used to read to her before she passed away. Maddie doesn't go to school, and she usually stays in the house or in the garden. When she's bored, she plays with the maid or with her tutor. Okay. The next question was sent anonymously. Here's the first one. Does Mary have any kind of special power or an iconic item? What a fun question. Mary does indeed have a special power. In fact, her power is what created the dream world. You see, everyone in this universe has a sort of power which is passed down through families. In Mary's case, she can create worlds in her dreams. Also, her iconic item is a white lily. A white lily? Are there any more? Another question from Sunray. From whom did Mary inherit her power? Her mom or her dad? And what kind of person was her mother before she passed? Mary got her power from her mom. Mary's mom was a silent woman who loved Mary very much and was always kind. But she could be cryptic and mysterious, too. She tried her best to help Mary with learning her powers, but unfortunately she fell into a coma before she could finish what she started. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, let us continue. There's a big fluffy bed. So sweet. 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 The door is locked. I'm, doing, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's chocolate on the bed. Eat it? Ow, there's something hard inside. Got the gold leaf key. Thank you, gold leaf key. You unlock the door. You go through the door. Beautiful music. There's a large white door. You hear someone humming in the room behind it. Let's go on in. Well, hello there, young lady. Well, well hello. Oh my, hello there, Mary. Ma, how do I know you? That Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Yep. Ma, oh my, well, you were very small when we first met. It's no wonder. Well, my name is Bunny Older. And the, she doesn't sound like she does that sort of accent then. I'm made of your dreams. Tee! If you don't remember me, you don't remember anyone else, do you? That's alright. To get started, why don't you go visit... Penguindle in the room next door. Yeah, just ignore my accents because it's gonna change all the way through. Come on, girl. But the children are past, and only the girl remains. Children past? What? There's a large blue door, you can hear someone reading aloud. Let's read this book. Sleeping Beauty, page three. Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. Flax? Fox flax. That's nice. Sleeping Beauty, page four. What are you doing there? said the princess. I'm spinning, my child, said the old woman. This is very pretty. How do you do it? Give it to me. That I may see if I can do so. She picked up the spindle, but no longer did she touch it. She pricked herself with it, and she fell down into a deep sleep. Now in my original recording, I actually said, Oh, there's a story about in the original Sleeping Beauty. She gets raped and has loads of children. That's what it said on QI anyway. And then I figure out this bit. Sleeping Beauty, page five. After a time, 
it happened by chance that a king was out hunting and passed that way. When the king beheld Mie, who seemed to be enchanted, he believed that she was asleep, and he called her, but seemed unconscious. Crying aloud, he beheld her dreams of father's through his veins, he lifted her in the arms, carried her to a bed, and gathered the first fruits of love. In other words, they did it. Without her consent. No means no. See the beauty, page six. Now Mia conceived two beautiful children, one a boy and the other a girl. That's my favourite part. So is that Mary it's talking about? Because in Sleeping Beauty her name was... What the fuck was her name in Sleeping Beauty? Aurora. What does it give it them? Mary, is that you? My, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You ought to say hello to Foxen. When you're done, she'll be a, she'll be a static to know that you're here again. Go toddle along now. Toddle, toddle. Toddle, toddle. Waka, waka. Waka, waka. <laughs> A large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. Fuck girl. Mare? Mare, is that you? Oh my god, look at you. Growing up on me, huh, kid? Let's just imagine she has Janice's voice from Friends and then I'll just read it like normal. Can't believe you've even stopped to visit me these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. You should go talk to Boris first, then you can come play some games together, just like in the old days. Just go downstairs at the end of the hall and you can't miss that door, it's the only one after mine. Cool. Fuck, son. You don't have to wear that dress tonight. Mary? Mary? Someone is calling. Someone is calling Mary or Mary. Either way, I'm not pleased. Is there something behind here? There seems to be a door hidden in the wall. You can hear a strange noise from behind the door, almost as if someone is calling you. Well, looky here. The painting is really weird. There's a bowl with a sea angel inside. It looks like it's about to tip over. There's a bowl with a sea angel inside. Oh, we, sm we smashed it now. Okay. There's a button locked by a code instead of the bowl. Insert the magic word. <laughs> I was going to put somewhere really rude then. Ooh, can't put gooch in this. Here, you little devil. Okay, what you doing? You in here? Is there? There's something strange about this spot. You touch the painting. And there's no music at all. <gasps> Don't like this. The book says you can hold by running shift. You should always run. The moment you think you're f safe is the moment he will get you. That's weird. Fucking is. Out of here! Is it open? Okay, okay. It's not as if I didn't know it wasn't open. Of course not. I'll go through the hole. Let's stay here. Happy place. Cool. Cool beans. Can I? Let's go see Boris. No. <laughs> Shit, wrong button. Yes, please. Last time I did this, um, I went into that room like the second time instead of the third, and you hear a little, wait, don't go in there yet. And that scared the fucking shit out of me. Wasn't pleased. But I did it in order this time. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, you're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? It's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later, alright, sweetie? Creepy as fuck. Don't like his music either. Fuck that. Alright, let's go talk to Banilda. 
So, girl. Oh, Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dream? Tee -hee. Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Arigato. You see, there's actually a story behind these two statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld and the other was the goddess of love. Please help me show this story with the statues. I don't see why not. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The red fruit is death's temptation. Okay. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The gold fruit is the prize of the winner. Sweet. Confident? Confident statue, she's facing that way, so I'm gonna put it there. Wounded, he's in, sort of in the middle ish. And then longing? Because, you know, which is which? There's a statue of the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, so that's Aphrodite. That's whatever the other guy was called. There's a statue of a young woman, basket and vegetables, so that's the underworld lady. This looks really good, you did a great job. You really have an eye for these things. I wish you'd ask him if you need any more help. Thanks, bummy older. Don't mention it. Found a locked door? Well, didn't you have a key with you? Where did it go? Key? Welcome back, Mary. Oh, you've managed to help Belinda? That's very nice of you. Would you mind lending me a hand too? Excellent, thank you for your assistance. I made a book by an author named Williams a while ago. It was about a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what colour it is? Sure. Is it, is it here? White book? No, no, that's not it. No, that's not it either. Yellow. It's... It's yellow! Hello! Use all capital letters. I don't know anymore. It's yellow, yo, bag. Fuck me, it's hot in this fucking onesie. There's no owl in this. Discrimination. Gone. Foxhound has the best music. Oh, hey there, kiddo. What's up? You've been hanging with one elder and Gondil? Hey, what about me? Huh? Alright, let's play a game. Great. Play a game of hide and seek. I'll hide somewhere in this room and you'll have to find me. For this round, you get 45 seconds. Talk to me again when you're ready. I'm ready, bitch. Let's go. Let's get started trying to find the full four to five seconds are up. Oh, I hear giggling. Found it, you bitch. Good job, kid. Let's play again some other time. Does that mean I go to Boris? Boris. I've been playing with my friends. Hello, Mary. My special girl. Are you having fun in your dreams? It's great, sweetheart. I'm glad you like it so far. This world is made special for you, after all. It wouldn't be right if you didn't like it. Still, early. why don't you go play with some of your friends? It doesn't feel like this oh, yeah. hood is on me still. Oh, there's good stuff. Uh, we're gonna have to go in that fucking room. I don't want to go in that fucking room. I really don't want to go in this fucking room. Oh, shit. I forgot to get the key. Basically, the key is in this door, but I didn't fucking figure that out when I played it until ages. Got the gold leaf key. I mean, you never, you don't even see it. Okay, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. this I don't care. Maybe I should save. I haven't saved at all. Oh, apparently I have. Well, sponge you. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's my first save. Stuff dead rabbit, there's book pages around it. Adonius the Moral God of Life, Death, some some there aren't many pictures you don't read. Penguin Brown Journal, dear Glenn, thank you for your help. I couldn't have done it this far without you being there for me. Love, Anna. There's a fox pelt on the sofa. The note next to it reads a box. A fox was hidden below in sight. She was clearly agitated. Take a few steps to the right and down. I'm so fucking scared. There's a stuffed boar heading, staring at you. The door is locked. Connie's gonna run the fuck out. 
Connie's gonna run the fuck out. Connie's gonna run the fuck out. Why did I keep running toward it? Shit. 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god, Mary. We're safe now. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. I should probably have paid more attention to what that stuff said, but fuck that. I'm going back. <gasps> that was so scary. Okay, guys. That's all I'm going to record for now. Uh feel free to watch the next one um it's gonna be a lot more scary unless you know i keep to the pink stuff we'll see uh click down here for part two somewhere over there and uh see you next time bye